Specialized niches for stem cells and progenitor cells are essential for tissue maintenance and regeneration in multicellular organisms. Although some of the cell types and the molecules that constitute such niches have been identified, little is known about the functional interactions of these factors in the intact organism. Indeed, examining these questions by classical loss of function approaches is essentially impractical, as it would involve the creation of dauntingly complex compound genotypes. In our paper, therefore, we engineer synthetic hemorrhoidic environments in vivo as a conceptual alternative to study the functional networks of effector molecules. We target the thymic epithelium because it is physiologically accessible for progenitor cells, yet it lacks hemorrhoidic function in mice that are deficient for the transcription factor FOXN1. Using tissue-specific transgenesis, the dysfunctional ground state can be functionalized in a stepwise fashion. This is what Leslie Calderon, a PhD student in the laboratory, has done. Let's see what she has found. In our lab, it was previously shown that the promoter elements of the FOXAN1 gene direct tissue-specific expression of transgenes. We exploit this unique situation to re-express the chemokine CCL25 and CXL12, the cytokine stem cell factor and delta life form in FOXAN1 deficient epithelial cells. The combinatorial expression of these transgenes gave rise to 15 different stromal microenvironments. We first demonstrated doing immunofluorescence for cytokeratin A, a marker of epithelial cells, and CD45, a marker of hematopoietic cells, that the number of CD45 positive hematopoietic cells was profoundly affected in the different transgenic extromal microenvironments. The figure shows the FOXAN1 heterozygous control thymic low, a non transgenic FOXAN1 deficient low, and a quadruple transgenic FOXAN1 deficient thymus. Most of the double, triple, and the quadruple transgenic FOXAN1 deficient thymine accumulated CD45 positive cells in and around the thymic rudiment, demonstrating that the attraction of hematopoietic cells and retention of these cells in the rudiment were rescued. But was it similar the phenotype of hematopoietic cells in all various thymic microenvironments? Interestingly, we found that the combinatorial expression of different transgenes affected the phenotype of CD45 positive cells present in the thymus. In SCF single transgenic and CCL25 SCF double transgenic thymine microenvironments, the majority of cells possess a surface phenotype and cytoplasmic granules like immature mast cells. This observation illustrates synergy between CCL25 and SCF and point to minimum components for the still elusive endogenous mass progenitor cell niche. Additional expression of CXCL12 generated a lymphopoietic niche. We found a massive increase in hematopoietic cells with the simultaneous expression of CCL25, CXCL12, and SCF, and these cells were mainly immature B cells. However, when the transgenic timing lobes were cultured in vitro, the resident B cells differentiated into mature B cells. The expression of delta life 4 together with CCL25 or CCL25 and SCF led to a significant increase in T cell progenitors in the thymic rudiment. Under these conditions, the transgenic FOXAN1 deficient epithelia support the presence and proliferation of early double negative cells. Delta life 4, like CCL12, overrides the mast cell progenitor preference of the CCL25 and SCF combination. The microenvironments expressing both CXCL12 and Delta Life 4 contain large numbers of T linear cells, the majority of which co express the CD4 and CD8 coreceptors. As expected, the double positive thymocytes carry BDJ rearrangements at the TCA beta locus. In reaggregate thymus organ cultures with wild type thymic epithelium, the transgenic double positive cells differentiated into CD4 and CDA single positive T cells, expressing high levels of surface TCA beta. This finding shows that CXCL12 has multiple functions. It exhibits chemotactic activity and also promotes lymphoid progenitor development. However, in the context of Delta Life 4, it directs T cell development, whereas without the presence of a suitable notch ligand, CXCL12 promotes B cell lineage development clearly demonstrating how CXL12 function is context-dependent. In all environments expressing combinations of CXL12 and Delta Life 4, the B-cell promoting function of CXL12 is subordinate to the T-cell promoting function of Delta Life 4. 
placing delta life 4 at the top of the functional hierarchy of the four factors studied here. Leslie's work demonstrates that surprisingly few factors suffice to generate functionally distinct environments. Hence our studies not only help to understand the functional logic of endogenous hematopoietic environments, they should also facilitate efforts aimed at engineering hematopoietic progenitor cell niches ex vivo.